Okay guys, so all you're going to need is a mason jar, and this one is already frosted, and it also has a little bit of glitter in it as well, which I just took a glitter hairspray, and this frosted glass, and I sprayed a couple coats of it, and let it sit for a couple hours, and let it dry. So now that it's dry, I'm going to take that, and a couple things of ribbon, which I have these two here, as well as a bow that I already made. If you want to see how to make a bow, I have a tutorial on it. All I have to do is click in this annotation I'll have for you, and it's really, really easy. So I want to take this ribbon right here, this one just says ho ho ho, and I'm going to measure how much I'm going to need just around the top, right there. So I'm just going to cut it right there. And I'm going to take a hot glue gun, and I'm going to do this on the side so you can't see it. And right on the side, just do a little dab. And I'm going to start right there. Let it cool for just a second. Get this more in frame for you guys. And then I'm going to wrap it around the rest of the way. These just dress it up for the holidays. You don't have to do it um, with holiday ribbon. You can use whatever ribbon you'd like if you want it to be more of a year round piece. I'm just going to take a little bit more glue right there where it overlaps and stick it right there. Let that dry. That's just a cute top. Now you could stop there if you'd like. I'm not going to. I'm actually going to take this holiday ribbon as well and I'm going to find where it starts right here. And I'm going to cut just enough to fit around. Same as I did on the top. So it looks like it'll be right there. I'm going to make a little bitty cut right there. Move these out of the way. Get all my other ribbon out of the way. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start on the same side as before. Well, actually, you can do this in the middle because you're going to cover it up with a bow. So I'm going to make sure that it fits right there. So I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue fold that little bit over real quick. Put the hot glue right in the middle. Stick it right there, let it dry for just a second. And then you're gonna wrap it around. You're gonna wanna make sure it stays even all the way around. So right there, make sure it matches up. And right where it overlaps, you're going to put a little bit of hot glue again. And be careful because the glue with this ribbon, it does go through sometimes. So you want to make sure that it doesn't get um, on you because you can burn yourself. So that's that. And like I said, you could stop there as well, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take the bow that I had made previously and I'm going to stick it right there. So again, I'm going to take a little bit of glue and stick the bow right on that point. I'm going to press hard on it just to make sure that it doesn't come off. Like I said, I got a little glue on my hand because it went through, so just be careful not to burn yourself. You can just dispose, dispose of the glue in a garbage bin by you or throw it on the floor, whatever you like. And there you go. That's just a cute little um, holiday candle holder. You can also put candies in there or anything you want just to decorate. It's also something if you want to put gift cards or a stuffed animal or something small inside. Um, just a fun little thing you can give people presents in. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I stay, stay tuned for my other Mason Jar videos I have. You can click on the annotations probably in this video. And or in the links below as well. And make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching.